Hello and welcome back to a humble look at Other Side. A humble look at is the series where we take a look at the eight or so games in the monthly humble choice bundle and see whether they're good, mediocre, or garbage. This time we were looking at Other Side, side with a C, as in homicide. The assumption being that we are killing others. And I'm going to guess the others are not the attractive females we are seeing on screen. Speaking of, I hope we have something other than attractive females to draw us to this game as a selling point, otherwise we might be incredibly disappointed. Let's jump on in and have a look. Okay, difficulty mode. Nightmare or dream? Right, the original other side experience, sacrificing a daughter is the only way to heal another one versus dream. Enjoy a less punishing but still challenging journey. And your daughters recover 50% HP every new day. You get a free resurrection token at the end of each run. And switching modes requires creating a new snowfall. Well, for the purposes of this first look, let's take a look at Nightmare. From beyond the veil they grow, those you should always beware. In muted darkness they flow, those who feed on your nightmare. The Book of Nostra on the others. And apparently that's included in the subtitles for some fucking stupid reason. For centuries, the mother has protected the veil, preventing it from shattering. Her journey has led her to the deserted streets of the city, rotted by the plague, where a greater threat awaits. Okay, seriously, why is this in the subtitles? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Well, that's creepy. <laughs> Off to an excellent. The other has come for the chosen one, and soon the veil will break. The suffering cannot continue. <laughs> Who are you? You shouldn't be here. So a very interesting art style off the bat, grey scale with red and yellow highlights so far. Age of Shattering, 1897 apparently. In case... festers within him. The edge of reality frays. Each That's some questionable animation more there, more just more sliding more. around. The other could shred the veil and devour our world. Will you stay with me until the end? I'll give what I can, what I have left. Let it go here and no further. Oh, that took a while for everything to pop in. Watch, my friend. Once I move to strike, the first will fall. Health points. HP. These are the health points HP. Your unit dies if their HP reaches zero. And um, I completely missed what Mother had to say because, of course, we've got multiple things on screen. Action points. These are action points. Yep, cool. Pretty standard. And move to the red square. The further you move, the more action points it will cost. Okay, so pretty standard strategy game so far. Let's move over to so ten AP to move to. Oh, the other sends more against us. That's some really interesting movement animation. Just jumping from place to place. Oh, we can zoom in. And we are fighting a plague doctor. So select the attack skill. Instant action skills are playable immediately and cost your action points. Right, so this down here must be some kind of clock. What, and so let's see, slash 35 AP. Yeah. 
And apparently that killed him immediately. Yeah, timeline. Timeline orders all units by their initiative and moves forward whenever a unit ends their turn. A unit can play when it reaches zero on the left side of the timeline. Uh, your unit will move to 50 on the timeline and recover all their AP when we end the turn with backspace. And we have a Curse Therapist with a gun of some sort. And now we have back in just timeline. Delayed skills immediately end the unit's turn and their powerful effects are activated later on the timeline. Okay, pretty standard so far. Ghost is preparing a delayed massive shot. Uh, where is that massive shot on here? Yeah, okay. Uh, so it's a it shield charge. Dash is up to five tiles, dealing up to 390 damage. The skill will delay the target's next action and will cancel their delayed attack. Fair enough. Interrupt skills can stop a single enemy attack and immediately launch a counter attack. Warning interrupt skills cost health points. Oh, for right eye. Select Ventral Stance. It will interrupt the next melee attack and launch a devastating counter attack. Well, that's going to be interesting if, being in nightmare mode, we can only heal units by sacrificing other units. Target the owner active unit. And then we end turn. Okay. And then we have our interruption action with the eventual strike. And for some reason we're exploiting in a crap load of other things. Scavengers now. Fear not. I can stop the attack before it happens. Spear tornado, so this is going to be some kind of area of attack thing. Delay After a delay of 10 initiative units, still up to 522 damage. Delay enemies in the area by 70 initiative units, then immobilize them for 50 initiative units. Engine time. Yeah, that's possibly overpowered, but okay. And then we move just 10 forward and we can take the action. Yeah, so what we got? Another kind of aimed shot thing that we're going to have to interrupt. Yeah, there's that delayed action, the massive shot. Action points burst. Unit will go into burst if they start using their last 50 AP. This pushes unit back to 100 on the timeline, so be careful to burst only when you need an extra move or deal a killing blow to... Actually, some skills like shield charge can delay the next time an enemy will play to give you more control on the timeline. Dodge is the percent chance a unit has of avoiding an attack. An arm is a unit's protection. It represents the damage deducted from each attack received. Armor and dodge can be modified by ally or enemy skills, so we must pay attention to skill descriptions. And timeline. Remember, the timeline is the key to winning battles. Powerful delayed skills end your units turn immediately and activate later. Interrupt skills prepare your unit to block an attack and strike back after their turn. And some skills delay the next time an enemy will play to give you more control. Using your last 50 AP will provoke us. Right, I. Gift gives me such strength. So, is this where we get to make our decisions now, is it? Okay. A lots and lots of options here. Seems to take a while for everything to adjust itself on the timeline, so I'm good. God forbid you actually want to quickly see how things are going to change. Yeah, so I think we've got no choice but to attack this guy. Just a regular attack, which immediately kills him, so that's something. And we'll end the turn. So 
So what have we got going on? So, uh, scavengers and spawning in, are they? It's, and then we've got whatever that skull symbol is going on. So, what do you want? Just another slash on the Plague Doctor? Let's move towards these guys and not going to burst mine because that makes sense somehow. So we've got the scavengers spawning in and ganging up on us. And the weird whatever that is again, a curse therapist has another delayed action which is going on down here. So we apparently get attacked. Tremort are going to get attacked by, what are these things again, the scavengers, and then we're going to spawn in some plague guards. So what, it, 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 do we have to kill everything before the new units spawn in, is that it? Hmm, do we want to use spell on Edo and going to burst? Well, that'll kill two of our enemies, so let's do that. And dilates it's only 10, and then we get to launch it. And then we go to the end of the timeline. So, yep, here we go. A plague guard, okay. It's got a shield. That's what makes it different to a plague doctor. And, yeah, a plague butcher with a big axe. And take 330 damage from that delayed massive shot from the curse therapist. So we definitely need to deal with that curse therapist before it's next action. So let's jump up close and give it a slap. It has 792 health and our... S Sorry, our slash is going to do 792 damage and it's only got 428 health, so let's go. Oh no, it's an extra armor on our curse guard or whatever it is. Plague guard. Of course the enemy dodges us. So let's see if we can whack out another slash. This guy's got a guy. Oh no, he's got even more health than we've got damage. Do we have anything interesting? Oh, how about we set up a vegetable stance, we spend 20 HP to interrupt an attack. Then we end the turn with our stance set up, do we? What is this thing doing? Is there a reason the game's not moving? He is here. The Chosen One. Oh, okay. Oh shit, 10,000 HP. The Chosen One is the child. Little one. But we want to harm you. Very much. Well, that was cringe. You, most of all. I fought with every bone and sinew. All I am, I leave to you. Take it. My blood is my legacy. May it spill forth into an army to rend suffering from its host. Say was destroyed, the veil fractured, thousands of souls perished, swallowed by the void. My voice destroyed. 
destroyed a city. It's not enough. How soon will you hatch? I want you in this world. I want to see what you can do. To those that hurt me. To those you will hurt. I can't. Time and space converge. Reality and unreality were on the edge of destruction. For the first time, an other was close to breaking through. I, I just don't get this. What the hell is this game trying to be? Oh, and here's the mother. Oh. My life lights your path. Do you remember our journey together? This time, let me guide you. You will wield my memories like a sword, and with them, grow our army. And thus were they trapped in an everlasting loop. From recollection to recollection, doors of the Red Mother die only to rise again. Age of Shattering. Ace. Oh. We don't know whether we're in 929 or 1897. This dark corner of existence is a harbinger. Soon all will follow. The very fabric of our reality is threatened. My last breath is near. My daughters, you are of me. Put an end to suffering. Other side is a game about sacrifice and tough choices. Progress is auto saved, so there is no turning back. The enemies on the other side are lethal, and every mistake will cost you dearly. Your daughters will die, and you will lose, only to rise stronger again. The game expects players to fail, but fail is not the end. After ending a round, you restart with additional bonuses and even the ability to resurrect fallen doors from cost. Oh my God! It's got uh, it's got roguelike elements. This has got to be some of the cringiest try-hard bullshit I have seen in a while. <laughs> like, like it is seriously overplaying its own value. I, I, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it, the tone they're going for. It's just ridiculous. I'm not invested in the story. The turn-based combat is odd, clunky, even. I definitely don't like it myself. Uh, maybe you do. If you do, please let me know in the comments. But that just seems obnoxious. And it it's just feels so cringe. I, I don't know what it's trying to be. Like, I really have no idea what this game's trying to be. I don't like it. I'm probably never going to play it again. If you're into turn-based strategy, yeah, there's probably other things. There's probably millions of games you play before this. If if you're not if you're in the, getting it in the bundle, I don't know. Maybe maybe you you'll get some playtime out of it. But I do not recommend purchasing it individually. I'm not a fan. Uh, let's see if there's anything unique, but otherwise, uh, sorry, not anything unique, if there's anything interesting after this, but I have a feeling that it's just going to be more of the same. The veil, I can give you my daughters, birthed from my soul. Yeah, they were going to achievement, and need them to fight. a new site, so this must be the end of the prologue. What this, will you remember now? This is the chrono map. From here, you'll be able to manage your doors in the inner void. Select your next mission from the attack menu and the die. Let's enter the inner void. German new door. Now, let's not. Let's leave it here with some real try-hard desperate garbage. I do not like it. I am disappointed. But again, do let me know if you it's something you'll like. But... Yeah, I, I'm out. So, I get... But it's not for me. I'm... It's not complete trash, but... It's like maybe 3, 4 out of 10 for me. I'm not interested in it at all. 
And I think we will call it there. Thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far, do leave a like on the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And we will see you next time here on A Humble Lookout. Goodbye.